हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 5 ऑफ क्लास 10th सोशल इकोनॉमिक्स दैट इज कंज्यूमर राइट्स सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज व्हाई आर रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस रिक्वायर्ड इन द मार्केट प्लेस इलुसिट्रेट विद अ फ्यू एग्जांपल्स आंसर इज फर्स्ट the consumers are exploited by the shopkeepers and traders in different ways such as less weight or measurement more price adulterated and defective goods second in case of complaint regarding a good or service the shopkeeper or trader tries to avoid any responsibility the seller tries to shift all the responsibility onto the buyer as if the seller has no responsibility once a scale is completed third sometimes producers are few and powerful while the consumer purchases in small amount and are scattered big companies with huge wealth manipulate the market in many ways now question number 2 says what factors gave birth to the consumer movement in india trace its evaluation answer is The factors that gave birth to the consumer movement in India are manifold. It started as a social force with the need to protect and promote consumer interest against unfair and unethical trade practices. Extreme food shortage, hoarding, black market and adulteration of food led to the consumer movement becoming an organized arena in the 1960s. Until the 1970s consumer organization were mostly busy writing article and holding exhibitions for the question number 3 says explain the need of consumer consciousness by giving two examples answer is two examples are reji's suffering and amrita waiting in case of reji a hospital due to negligence of doctors and the staff is giving anesthesia crypt to him for life In the case of Amrita an engineering graduate after attending an interview for a job did not receive any news of a result in both the cases they were conscious for their rights Reji's father filed a complaint in the state consumer disputes redressal commissioner claiming compensation of rupees 5 lakh for medical negligence and deficiency in service for the question number 4 says mention a few factor which caused the exploitation of consumer answer is exploitation of consumer is caused by a variety of factor producers are always looking for easy ways to increase profits adulterated or low quality goods have fewer production cost and if the consumer is unaware or illiterate it is easy to cheat him or her also shopkeepers brush off their responsibility by claiming that the manufacturer is to blame consumer feel helpless in this situation often when the consumer are known not to check the retail price of the commodity on its packing sellers add extra charges to the same now let's talk about question number 5 which says what is the rationale behind the enactment of consumer protection act 1986 so answer is copr act was to protect the interest of the consumer because there are no legal formalities for filing the complaint a consumer need not employ a lawyer or professional for legal assistance he himself can plead the case in the consumer court a person can make a complaint to consumer court on a plain paper along with supporting documents such as a guarantee or warranty card cash memo etc Now question number 6 says describe some of your duties as consumer if you visit a shopping complex in your locality answer is some of my duties as a consumer if i visit a shopping complex including checking expiry dates of the products i wish to purchase paying only the maximum retail price printed on the goods preventing shopkeepers from duping me with defective products and registering a complaint with the consumer forum or court in case a seller refuses to make responsibility for an adulterated or flawed product now question number 7 says suppose you buy a bottle of honey and a biscuit packet which logo or mark 
you will have to look for and why answer is while buying a bottle of honey or a biscuit packet the logo or mark one will have to look for isi or a mark these are logo certifying the quality of goods in the market only those producers are allowed to use these marks who follows certain quality standards set by the organization issuing these certificates thus if a bottle of honey or a biscuit packet has one of these logos on it then it implies that the product is of good quality for the question number 8 says what legal measures were taken by the government to empower the consumer in india answer is first the consumer protection act popularly known as copra was enacted in 1986 it was amended in 1991 and 1993 second is in october 2005 The Right to Information Act was enacted. This enables citizens to have all the information about the functions of government departments. The citizens have a right to know the particulars of goods and services they purchase. Now question number 9 says mention some of the rights of consumers and write a few sentences on each. Answer is some of the rights of the consumers include the right to be informed the right to choose the right to seek redemption and the right to presentation in consumer court under rti act of 2005 consumer can now even get information regarding the working of government departments the right to choose allows a consumer to choose if he wishes to continue or discontinue the use of the service he purchased the right to seek redemption permits a consumer to complain against unfair trade practices and exploitation for the question number 11 says critically examine the progress of the consumer movement in india answer is the consumer movement in india has evolved vastly since it began there has been a significant change in consumer awareness in the country till the enactment of copra in 1986 the consumer movement did not bear much force but ever since in concept the movement have been empowered substantially the setting up of consumer courts and consumer groups has been a progressive move however in contemporary india the consumer redential process is quite complicated expensive and time consuming filling cases attending court proceeding hiring lawyers and other procedures make it cumbersome in india There are over 700 consumer groups of which unfortunately only about 20 to 25 are well organized and functioning smoothly. Now let's talk about question number 13 which says say true or false. First COPRA applies only to goods. Answer is false. Second India is one of the many countries in the world which have exclusive courts for consumer redemption. Answer is true. third when a consumer feels that he has been exploited the most file in case the district consumer court answer is true fourth it is worthwhile to move the consumer courts only if the damages incurred are of high value answer is true fifth hallmark is a certification maintained for standardization of jewelry answer is true sixth The consumer redemption process is very simple and quick. Answer is false. Seventh, a consumer has a right to get compensation depending on the degree of the damage. Answer is true. So guys, here I have covered all the question of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed, please put a query in the comment section below. For more such NCERT solutions Keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Sim Schools and do not forget to wear mask and take good care of your health